with head coach Nietzsche Perry after a 59-51 win over North Florida. Um, coach, your first ace on win. Just talk about what it meant for the team. Um, it was extremely important for us, um, especially it being the second game after a really tough loss after we fought back in our last game. And so it was, you know, none of our kids, you know, even Lisa Capellan hadn't been out there, you know, to play, you know, a day between games. And so I was just proud of the total team effort uh, that was displayed for 40 minutes tonight. And talk a little bit about uh, DeAndre Sawyer's 21 points on seven uh, three-pointers. You had 11 in the game behind the arc. Just talk a little bit about what she's meant um, to the program. Uh, she's been phenomenal. Um, when, she's play, when she plays with confidence, she's a game changer. Um, I didn't even realize she hit seven threes. I just knew it was going in almost every time she shot it. <laughs> um, um, but she plays with a lot of confidence. Um, she works extremely hard every day. Uh, she got newcomer of the week last week, and I thought it was much deserving. And I think you know she just tried to. She's the type of kid that you know she didn't have the game she wanted to have the last game, and so she came back with a vengeance today. How can this uh, uh, win help the team going forward? Um, we just keep talking about laying the foundation. Uh, we we brought our bricks today, and we got our little thing going in the locker room right now, building up the wall, and so. You know, it, it definitely laid the foundation to start one and one in conference. Uh, I think it gives us a lot of confidence going into the next game. Uh, I think it's Northern Kentucky and Lipscomb swing. Um, so those are two tough teams, but I think, you know, winning at home means everything to this team. And so going, taking that energy on the road is going to be essential. There were 14 lead changes in the first half. Second half, you came out, Kennesaw came out and took the lead and held it. Uh, what was the difference there between the first and second half? And they were able to get that lead and, and hold on to it. Um, I, there was just a belief that we could do it. Um, and then there was when we got up, I think we were surprised that we were up. And we kind of stopped shooting the ball. And, I, you know, we just talked about you got to put teams away. You know, and that, that was something that we focused on because we believed that we could do it. And just bring the energy. We talk about changing the atmosphere all the time. And so we felt like we did that. The uh, DeAndre Sawyer seems like a player that – you have a lot of confidence in, and I see why. Seven threes. Uh, just talk about how her game has developed in coming as a newcomer and working into your scheme. Um, you know, like I said, uh, I think the last game, just um, learning how to coach each and every player and not giving her so many parameters where she can just play her game. Her and Christina Wells are players that just play. And, you know, the, the less I coach, the better they are. Um, I'm extremely excited. A win is a win, but uh, against North Florida, it felt even better. And so uh, I think it was a veteran coach, of course, a veteran team. And so that that's definitely something we can piggyback off of with my team being so young. We beat a veteran team tonight. Yeah, Coach, I want to follow up on that question because this is an Osprey program that's talking about a possible A-Sun championship. This is three seniors, two juniors. They've been there, done that a long time. It's the, the, the matriarch of the A-Sun right now, Coach Mary Patmire. you got to be real happy right now. I'm extremely excited. Uh, I, I mean, they, they do have a storied uh, program. And for us, that's just what you build on. I mean, you build on saying, hey, we beat one of the most historic teams in the conference. And even though you're young, any day, you, anybody can win. And that's what we talk about all the time. And Lipscomb may not be up as they want to be right now with a new program, but it's a very historic program in this conference as well. It's just basketball in general, NCAA basketball. Coach Don Meyer, legendary coach there in that gym. How do you how do you make the switch? How long do you enjoy this? Um, tonight. <laughs> um, but you know, Lipscomb, you know, they're a very good basketball team. Uh, they run a five out offense, and if you don't have any foundation on defense, they're gonna make you pay. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be like any night. I tell them we're 10 points down when we step in the door. And so we got to fight like heck to, to win there. It's going to be a tough game. One more thing. I thought your double down, your digs, we talked about digging on the air. You know, you get to dirty work. I thought they ran it to perfection. How? Why? What flipped the switch for them defensively? Um, just knowing that we had to have it. Uh, we talked about, you know, we, of course, use our shovel all the time for digging, but also talking about burying. And uh, you can use it for both and just getting in there and everybody doing their job and control the controllables. We control how hard we play. We control our preparation and we did those things. Your turnovers, I mean, one of the lowest of the whole year. Um, how many do we have? 11. Uh, I mean, wasn't any pressure the games, like the games we've played. 
Um, but controlling the control. Right. We control the control. We didn't try to do too much. And I felt like everybody kind of played their role. Um, we got the ball in and out. Mm -hmm. And even when the post players weren't scoring, because we, you know, we've made our living in the paint. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, tonight they were a little bit off. But uh, Chloe Branch getting in and getting back out for another three, that was huge. Yeah. And we know that we have to play inside out. So. Mm -hmm. And last question, um, talk a little bit about Bria Young. Obviously, DeAndre Sellers had 21 points, but Bria's definitely been stepping up her game the last couple uh, couple contests and um, finished with 11 points. Just talk about, about her play. It's very very quiet, but yet very steady. Um, Bria has been great uh, this season and last season as well, but I think uh, it came down to relationships. Um, and once she and I established her role, I feel like she can play more freely. Um, and, and I think that's what she's doing, playing with a lot of confidence, not afraid to shoot the ball, and more importantly, not afraid to miss. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Coach.